let's look at this set. The figure below shows the percentage breakup of number of employees broken up according to their designations in six industry segments, namely services, infotech, retail, banking, pharmaceutical, and insurance. The following additional information is available regarding the total number of employees in these segments. The number of employees in services is more than twice the number of employees in retail. So if I say retail is 100x, services is greater than 200x. Why I'm going for 100 is because these are percentage breakups. We have industry segments, we have percentage of percentage of number of employees. So if I keep it 100, the number of people will continue to remain integral. Okay. Next, the number of employees. So this is equal to this is this. Okay. The number of employees in the banking is equal to thrice the number of employees in insurance. So if I say insurance people are 100, why? Banking people are going to be equal to 300, why? Okay. And the last bit is the number of employees in pharmaceutical is less than four times the number of employees in infotech. So if infotech is 100z, then pharmaceutical is less than 400z. Okay. Within these three relations, can you see this is an inequality, this is an in inequality, this is an equality. So state the relationship two that is mentioned is precise in nature. One in three gives us ranges. Okay. Let's go to question five. The number of presidents in services as compared to retailers. The number of presidents in services. So... <coughs> So 4% of a number greater than 200, 4% of a number greater than 200, this is the number of presidents and services. And in retail, it is 9% of 100. We have to compare these two. We have to compare these two. Now see, if I took 9% to of uh, 100 is definitely 9 or 100x will lead me to 9x. This will lead me to greater than 8x. Greater than 8x. But does that necessarily mean it, I will definitely cross the threshold of 9x? Not necessarily. It could be equal. It could be more. It could be anything. We can't really be certain. Let's say if I took, mm, this is 4 is to 9. No? So if I make it 9 is to 4. If I take 225% here, Instead of greater than 200, if I take 225x here, then we are going to get 9x and 9x equal in both places. If I take anything lower than 225x, the number of presidents in services are going to be lower. If I take anything higher than 225x, then the number of presidents in services are going to be higher. So we can't really be certain. Given that the original relationship itself was a range, not a precise number, nothing precise can be inferred here. Okay, let's go to the next question. Which of the following are necessarily equal? Number of directors in insurance and that in banking. Remember, of the three relationships, the relationship between banking and insurance was the precise relationship. Everything else was in ranges. So even before you start working, the options that you should prioritize are insurance banking, insurance banking. These option A and option D are the most likely ones that can be right. Let's check A. Number of directors in bank insurance. Directors is given by this 12. So 12Y would be the number of directors in insurance. And in banking, 4% of 300Y. This would also be 12Y. Says so which of the following are necessarily equal? Option A. Option A. Answer is obtained there. Next. <laughs> The number of executives in pharmaceutical as compared to the number of directors in infotech is executive in pharmaceutical executives in pharmaceutical. So 32% of less than 400 Z is the number of executives in pharmaceutical and directors in infotech. 2% of 100 Z. Again, hopefully you can see this 400Z is the upper limit. So this could be as low as Z itself. 
32% of Z and 2% of 100Z. This will lead to 0.32Z. This will lead to 2Z. So this can be larger than the other one. Given that uh, we don't we don't know, there is no precise relationship mentioned. Nothing precise can be inferred. And therefore, the answer has to be cannot be determined. This set has two questions which have answers as cannot be determined. And that is okay. Next, if the number of employees in the pharmaceutical and services is equal, then the number of officers in retail as compared to the number of managers in infotech is. Okay. Pharmaceutical and services is equal. Retail number of employees in pharmaceutical and services is equal. Services is this. Pharmaceutical is this. Okay. Retail. Okay. Can I say retail? Retail. Number of People in retail. I'm looking at total employees in retail. If I take the employees in retail to be R, I take the employees in retail to be R, then services is greater than 2R. Or no. The good thing is the equality has been mentioned here. No pharmaceutical and services is equal. So I will rearrange the variables and everything. I will see this. The number of executives in pharmaceutical and services is equal. So let me this be 100. This Let this be 100. Let services be 100x. So retail will be less than 50x. Retail will be less than 50x and let pharmaceutical also be 100x. The number of employees in pharmaceutical is less than four times the number of employees of Infotech. So, insurance ke andar agar I log hai, 100x has to be less than 4i or i has to be greater than 25x. This has to be greater than 25x. I have simply reordered the relationship because of the new equality relationship I have got between pharmaceutical and services. I have taken both of them to be 100x. Now, the number of employees in services is more than twice the number of employees in retail. So retail can the less than 50x employees are, and mm, insurance can the greater than 25x employees. Are. This we can infer. No, no, number of officers in retail. Number of officers in retail is how much? Officers is this. So 12% of less than 50x versus and number of managers in Infotech. Managers in Infotech. 32% of greater than 25x. Okay, so this leads me to less than 6x. 12% of less than 50x is less than 6x. And this leads me to greater than 32 is 8, greater than 8x. This is officer in retail. And this is manager in infotech. This is greater than 8x. This is less than 6x. So, in the number of officers in retail as compared to the number of managers in infotech is smaller. This has to be smaller than 6x. This has to be small, greater than 8x. So this number will definitely be smaller than this. What is that precise number? We don't know, but we can definitely be sure that it will be smaller. And that is the entirety of this set. This is a set that is, despite giving you percentage and everything, is essentially checking your comfortable your comfortable level with uh, comfortability level with uh, ratios. That will be all for this set.